hello welcome to the javascript simple tutorial so far on the channel so in this video i'm just going to be showing you the javascript select all command allowing your user to copy some piece of information you would like to share with them on the website it's not a command that other content will not be shareable it will still be shareable but this is just to simplify the user's actions let's say you want some user to copy a code from your web page or document letting them to select the all content without leaving any piece of information behind so that functionality is not normal it's just put in place using javascript and it's very easy as you can see i'm having a well here this is a bootstrap well it's not a div that it's a okay div but i've given this div a class of well so i would like users to select all the content inside here and also give them that option of editing it before copying them but put in mind nothing will be saved when the user edits on the web page and what i call the javascript select all command it will enable the user to copy all the content without leaving any information behind you will just have to click in that div and all the content will be selected instead of him dragging manually and may even miss out some information so using this command the exit command just clicks in that div and all the content will be selected and when we are ending this tutorial i will show you i will implement this kind of function on some dummy web page we are creating using the jquery mobile so stick around up to the end and see how we are going to put this in real world examples so when i refresh this that command will disappear because I went behind the scene and removed the code. So as you can see, when I click here, nothing will be happening. I will have to drag and by mistake, I may leave out some content. It's not comparison that, yeah, somebody will leave out, but in case he or she is hurry, can leave out some content on a web page. Now we are going to implement that using JavaScript. And there is no big deal or code that runs. We are just going to add this attribute, content editable equals true. As I said, we have to give the user the ability to edit the content before copying it. So when I refresh this and I place anywhere in this div, as you can see now highlighted, I can come and add other contents. But put it in mind, it won't save this extra content we have added in. It's just for you, the user, when you want to edit something before copying it. If I refresh, nothing will be there. So we have implemented that first ability to edit content before copying it S then we have to set an event it's called on click when the user clicks in that div we have to pass this event it's going to be document document dot x command x command so this is a case sensitive make sure you make this one capital c and then you open this parenthesis and here you're going to pass the method it's going to be select all so we are selecting all the content in that div and in case it's empty there will be false and none null so nothing will be running remember to close this with it So we have to close this one. Why is it doing like this? We have to put here double quotes. So the opening and closing double quotes. Here we said the method is going to be select all. Sorry for wasting that. Those seconds. So it's going to be select all the method. And in case it's empty will be at false or null in case that div is empty nothing will happen it will be left to false and null so let's save this and preview it in our browser refresh and then see when either clicks here oh we're having some problem here on click on click equals document dot x command Oh, the SP of command I made is supposed to be command, not command. It's supposed to be command. 
refresh and you see everything is selected in that div are you seeing how easy it is so the user will not leave out any information behind so that's the simple trick now i promised you i'm going to show you how we can implement this in a real world example so i'm having some funny project here we just wanted to create an hybrid app using phone gap so go inside this div there is this index i'm going to run the page in the browser so that you can see it some funny web page so in HTML is where I'm going to implement this. So I'm going to press that command here. So when the user comes, you can select all this at once and in just select manually the whole stuff. So this way we are going to be applying the code on on this well so that when the user comes just clicks in this place and selects the whole content. So I'm just going to scroll to that page where the information is it is here so it is on this div code well so this is the layout of this code you are seeing here so this is the code behind this well we are just going to press attribute here content editable equals true then we set a on click event on click equals document dot x command have I spelled it right x command yes and we say the method is going to be select all or the action select all and when it's empty it will be at false or null save it and preview it in the browser refresh this when i select here you see all the content will be selected so the user will be able to copy the whole content in this div and paste it in his favorable text editor and yeah runs the code edits some code so even you can put what he or she wants here before copying the whole stuff oh sorry it was highlighted so you can add other contents but remember i told you it won't save anything immediately when the browser refreshes all this extra content added by the user will be deleted away so that's the simple functionality i just wanted to show you using javascript so you can add this if you want users to yeah take some content from your web page dealing in such layouts teaching people how to build websites so yeah this is it in some little stuff we are creating i can go on and apply it on very many pages as i want so this is just a mini project we are trying to play with using the jquery mob technology so that's it guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead subscribe to my channel like the video and share it on different social medias i'll see you in the next tutorials so this is how we made it and also went in real example and placed it in our web page